Now the uh, clarity on the word propaganda. Uh, let's 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 just take the word apart for a second. Uh, if I was to write it, uh, we'd have the word pro, and then pagan, and the word da. So propaganda would come through a source of paganism. When we look up the word in the in the dictionary, I'm just using a, a fairly good extensive American English uh, dictionary, Webster's, and uh, I'm going to go to the word propaganda. And I want to look for confusion and misinformation and paganism and perversion of truth. I always seem to find the Catholic Church somewhere there. So we're going to go to propaganda. Okay, and propaganda. It says, uh, right off the top, it says, uh, Congregation for Propagating the Faith. Be careful. It didn't say what faith. It didn't say good faith or bad faith. It just said faith. It leaves it open uh, for interpretation there. But you go to the first definition, and it says Roman Catholic Church all of a sudden. A committee of cardinals, the Congregation for the Propagation of the Faith, in charge of foreign missions. Uh, any systematic widespread dissemination or promotion of particular ideas, doctrines, practices, etc., to further one's own cause or to damage an opposing one. Ideas, doctrines, or allegations so spread, now often used disparagingly to connote deception or distortion. So the fact that it started off at the Roman Catholic Church level, well, that's the beginning of the propaganda or the perversion of the teachings of Christ. So when we thoroughly examine where the source of evil originates with, of course, Satan, and then you see how he's been able to pervert things and allow people to be so easily deceived, uh, it's, it's really based on the fact that people are lacking knowledge. My people will perish due to lack of knowledge, says Scripture. So we have to realize that it's really up to you to attain proper knowledge. And you can do the same thing I've done here. You can go and do the research and don't be afraid of what you're going to find. Because if you pray, you'll be tapping into the power of God, which is the Holy Spirit, which is to bring us comfort and peace. So at a time like this, I hope that what we're sharing with everybody is bringing things into a balance in an unbalanced world right now. Because certainly what I've seen, and I have to turn off the news, so if you want to unplug the virus, just unplug the television, the radio, and I'm certain that you will calm down and then start uh, uh, basically focusing your attention on something that isn't, doesn't require a plug, which is the Bible. It doesn't require. It's already tapped into the power of God. So you need to read this in order to bring yourselves the comfort and the truth that comes from Scripture and from what is a gift from God. He's giving you this right now at a very, very crucial part of history that's unfolding. So uh, take the time, the comfort, and the, and the uh, knowledge of God is, is awaiting for you.